Five. Is someone learning? The fifth enemy to your advancement, your triumph, your liberty, your rest is called lack of strategies. This one is a very powerful one. Lack of strategies. Another word, inefficiency. Lack of strategies. This one concerns many leaders. They know what to do. Prophecy is already there. The vision is already there. But I have told you it is prophecy plus strategy that equals manifestation. It's vision plus strategy that equals manifestation. I don't care what God told you, quite honestly. I don't care what the blueprint you have for your future. It will never come to pass until you press to receive in addition to that vision, in addition to that prophetic word, the strategy allocated. Your real victory is not knowing that you will defeat Jericho. Your real victory is receiving the strategy on how to bring Jericho down. Your real victory is not crossing the Red Sea or moving to the other side. It's knowing how you are going to maneuver your way from the other end of the Red Sea to the other end of the Red Sea. Walking on water is an option. Parting the Red Sea is an option. Using a boat is an option. They are all options. So you have to stay with God. Every prophetic word requires a strategy. Every vision requires a strategy. Every season requires a strategy. All strategies do not work on all visions. No, sir. The engine, for instance, of a Toyota car, as well built as it is, may not fit a Mercedes Benz. That does not mean there's anything wrong with that engine. The nature of the configuration. And if you have to force a Toyota engine to work, say, for instance, in a Mercedes, you will have to cut too many things, adjust too many things, and manage that experience for the rest of your life or your driving experience. Many people are not able to excel because they have not stayed with God. You know what God has told you you will become, but has he told you how it will happen? No wonder Mary kept the angel and said, don't go. How shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man? How, don't just tell me it will happen. How shall these things be? Luke 1, 34, she asked him, how shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man? I, the natural way of having a child is a man and his wife. Now you are telling me I'm not yet married to Joseph. And you are telling me I'm going to be with child, albeit without the direct assistance of a man. So explain to me what other strategy is there. I'm not aware. And the answer came in verse 35. Hallelujah. Give it to us verse 35. The angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Ghost. Do you know this is a powerful revelation? That means, just help those under the anointing. Listen, it means everything that is natural has a spiritual dimension to it that God can reroute the same thing. When God puts principles, it's not because he's limited. It's to create order. When situations call for change, he can circumvent those things. The normal course is for Mary and Joseph to birth a child but he's saying listen you have been taught that it is Mary and Joseph that equals a baby however there is still another technology in the spirit when the Holy Ghost comes he can do something that gives you the result don't be surprised when you see Mary pregnant and you can't find Joseph it is not always disobedience is that the Holy Ghost has come to supplement I know that that promotion should come after 10 years that is the principle. But don't be surprised when a 10-year-old harvest comes to a man in one day. It is not unusual. When the Holy Ghost comes, he can rewrite things. I know that the angel comes to steer the water once a year. If you miss that moment until next year, but not when Jesus comes. When he comes, he can redefine the seasons. It's true. This is where the deficiency of wisdom punishes a lot of people. Please listen to me. 
There are many things you are writing right now. What you need is not prophecy on it. What you need is a strategy. How many of you know that the oil in the house of the wife of the sons of the prophet, there was already capacity. Isn't it amazing that the things we look outside are already in our house? It's only that you have not been told what to do with the oil. For some of you, God brought you here not necessarily to give you oil. He came to tell you that what you have in your house, your house can be your mind. Your house can be your destiny. Your house can literally be your house. Your house can mean your company. The body of friends around you. The solution is already there. You just need to be told how to make the oil multiply. I agree that when you have an infirmity, the medical approach is to put you under a knife and to carefully walk through your veins and your arteries, cutting out the tumor, cutting out whatever. That is a valid pathway. There are results to show. However, do not forget that the Holy Ghost can also rest upon men and produce the same result. Mary's story is not about giving birth to Jesus. It's about possibilities beyond the realm of science. Possibilities beyond the normal course of things. That means whilst you are seated trusting God for a miracle, it is true that you may need 10 million, 15 million for whatever, maybe kidney transplant or whatever. I agree. God gave the doctors the wisdom. However, when you see the Holy Ghost resting on people, make sure you cry that he will come upon you too. Because he can make that experience equal to a surgery. Only that this one does not need anesthesia, does not need time. You don't need to be under a knife. God for you. When you hold my hands, everything becomes possible. When you hold my hands, impossible becomes possible. You can get a job, an excellent way of sojourning financially and receive X amount every month. You can stand with your two years wages, a product of diligence, a product of savings. However, you can stand on this other side because life treated you unfairly and the God of favor and mercy comes. The Holy Ghost can breathe upon you and that you will stand with someone and you are still holding two years wages too, except that you don't have a job, except that you are not two years. It looks unfair. I'm saying that anything the Holy Ghost does in the life of the saints is correct. Even if it does not look unfair. Even if it does not look fair, it is correct. So when you see Mary pregnant and you don't see Joseph, don't criticize her. Find out who else came upon her. When you see a man who may not have the kind of intelligence and yet you see God increasing them. Don't just say, ah, this, how did this happen? When the Holy Ghost comes upon men, the stories can be rewritten. When you see the man at Bethesda rising and it's not the season for the angel to come, don't think it was somewhere Jesus came. It's not his fault. Jesus came to him. When Jesus comes, he does not wait for seasons. His coming defines your season. Do you believe this? Listen, the, one of the greatest secrets I have learned about destiny actualization is to receive the strategies that make prophecies come to pass. If the only thing you run with is prophecy, you will be disappointed. God can tell you, I'm going to raise you to be an anointed apostle, a prophet, a, an intercessor. That is vision, not strategy. If the strategy does not come, you will fail as if God did not speak to you. So Joshua said, come and give us a strategy. And he said, Joshua, I know you worked with Moses for many years. You saw him manifest different strategies. You use any of those strategies for Jericho, you will fail. Here is your strategy. Once every day, go around. Once. And then by the, the seventh day, gather all the trumpeters and the singers. 
go around seven times and at the seventh time let there be a shout the healer and the walls will crumble very pointless strategy and yet that was a strategy that brought Jericho down look at the strategy that today has brought the gospel to the nations what is the strategy believing a report that Jesus is Savior that Jesus is Lord that Jesus is King that he loved you enough to die for you as as supposedly frail as that strategy is this is what has turned ordinary men to champions it is that strategy that turned Paul Saul to Paul it is that strategy that turned weak men hallelujah You are as powerful as the strategies that back you, not just the prophecy that backs you. You are as powerful as the strategies. For some of you, whilst this meeting is going on, I'm saying this so that you will know how God visits you. You may not fall and shout and do all of that, but a strategy comes to you. Pray every morning, 12 to 2. Do that for three months. I will speak to you. That's it. That is the strategy that will open the next phase of your ministry. It may not be applicable to everyone. It came to you as a rhema. You just do it. Are we together? I, I recall, I, I, I'm, I'm reminded about, you know, our story moving into Abuja here. I've said it many times, but for the sake of those who have not heard, I remember I started praying and the Holy Spirit asked me to buy the map of Abuja the map of Nigeria, the map of Africa, and the map of the globe. Place it on the ground and keep praying. That was it. What sort of a foolish strategy is that? I'm saying, oh God, where is the venue? Where am I going to meet with the people? These crowds you are showing me in the vision, where will they be? Who is going to pay the bills first and foremost? Strategy. For someone, your strategy will be that when a shout comes, shout. The strategy will be dance away your problems before God and it may not make sense. You see, that's why the Bible says the natural man cannot understand the things of the spirit. It cannot profit, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't follow the path of logic, spiritual things. Someone says strategy. This is a major reason why many destinies are kept. They lack strategies. Ecclesiastes 10 and verse 10. 10 and verse 10. If the iron be blunt, he said, and he do not wet the edge, sharpen the edge, then must he put more strength, inefficiency. But wisdom is profitable in that it sustains the power to give you direction. Wisdom is profitable to direct. There is a way to do ministry such that you will win. There is a way to do ministry that you will be in pain and you will lose forever. There is a way to do business such that you become an indomitable winner. There is a way to do business that you become an apology to yourself and to others. Are we together? There is a way to raise children that you raise champions and giants. There is a way to raise children that cause you to go to your grave early. Have you obtained the strategy for your destiny? Lay your hands on your head in one minute and say, Father, reveal the strategy. The strategy for this prophetic word you have given me. Someone be serious. Reveal the strategy that you have allocated for the manifestation of your word in my life. You have said it's a year of exceeding great rewards. I receive the strategy by the power of God. There is a strategy that sustains the anointing that God placed upon your life. There is the strategy that sustains your relevance. There is the strategy that sustains everything God has given you. All the overflows inside, outside, connecting across the globe. Are you praying? I receive the strategy.